Meow Meow presents. Oh boy! <laughs> One day, Piggy came to see his friend Kitty and told him that races were taking place not far away. He told Kitty everything he knew that two cars took part in every heat, that they were very fast, and the one who made it to the finish first wins. And that Kitty really needed to take part in it. Kitty was all ears and decided to go for a race right away. I just love racing. Let's go together, Piggy. But Piggy said that he needed to go home and pick up the toys in his room before his mom came back. Seems like we've arrived. We'll need to join the line of cars who want to take part in the race. I wonder who I'll be racing against. Hippo? Badger? Giraffe? Or maybe Crocodile? All these cars ahead are so big and powerful. But it doesn't matter. I'm a real racer. I'll show them. There are two cars at the start. They're waiting for the signal of a special traffic light. Pedal to the metal. Let's go. Whoa. What acceleration. The back wheels are spinning so fast there's smoke. What speed! <laughs> that giraffe has such a ridiculous neck. It's not suitable for racing. But his car is really cool. Now it's my turn. Well, look out, hippo. Now I'm going to show you what my red car is capable of. Hippo and Kitty are carefully driving to the starting line. The front bumpers shouldn't go beyond this line. Like this. Great. Now the racers need to get ready and wait for the traffic light. Hippo wants to show that his car is the most powerful. But Kitty's sure of himself and doesn't worry. Go! The race has started. Look! Hippo's gained the lead and is driving far away. Well, it seems like Kitty doesn't have a chance. His car is very slow and isn't suitable for these races. Come on. Just a little more. Faster! No, my red car is really slow. What shall I do? How can I overtake Hippo? I've got it! I'll go to Max's Magic Garage and let him upgrade my car. So here I am. Open up, Max! And Kitty honked twice as usual. One short and one long honk. Beep, beep. The gates opened right away and Kitty drove into the garage. He told Max everything that had happened to him. How Piggy visited him. How he told him about the races. How he decided to go there about Hippo in a big sports car, and how he got far behind. We have to do something. Can you upgrade my car? I have to beat Hippo. Don't worry, Pussycat, Max said. We're gonna do it. First, we need to download special software, like this. Then, we need to lift the car up. We have a special elevator in the garage for this. Done! 
Now we need to open the hood and take the old and weak engine out. We bring the hoist down, hook the engine, and take it away. Great! Now we put a big high-powered engine with three superchargers instead of the old one. Now your car will be as fast as lightning, said Max. Like real lightning? Asked Kitty cheerfully. Well, I don't know, Max said. You'll have to race him to find out. Kitty thought that he could go. But there was another thing that he had to do with the car. We have to take the old back wheels off, said Max. They're narrow, so the traction is bad. We're going to get some cool wide sports wheels for the back. We tap on a special sign in the software. One, two. The wheels are removed. Now we get new ones. One, two, done. Look how wide they are, Kitty. Oh, I like that. Awesome. I'm going to Hippo. Bye. Max didn't even have time to say goodbye. Now I'll show that hippo. Kitty pressed the gas pedal. The back wheel started spinning and the car rushed forward. Hippo also pressed the gas and his car started to speed up. Kitty and Hippo are going neck and neck. First one takes the lead and then it's the other. Nobody wants to give up. Who's gonna win? Here's the finish. The cars cross the finish line at the same time and we can't determine the winner without a freeze frame playback. So, let's see. Hippo's ahead a little bit. But at the last moment, Kitty is breaking forward, taking the lead, and finishes first. How about that? Good job, Kitty. And good on you, Max. You did a great job. Meow Meow presents... The Miracles of Parking. One day, Kitty found out that Kukutiki were coming to his town. Hooray! There'll be a big concert of the Kukutiki at our stadium. I love their songs and I have to be there. But I have to get on my way early in order to be in time. Kitty went outside, got into the car, fastened his seatbelt, started the engine, and pressed the gas pedal and drove. I know every one of the Kukutiki's song. T is my favorite one. And yours? Great! I like it too. Kitty pushed the button and his favorite song about T started to play. Here my tea was in its cup. I don't know which way is up. And now I stand here all mixed up. T-O-T -T, come back to us. I know, it was Dad! No, I didn't drink your tea. I got some bread for you and me. Don't just stand there all and see. Wasn't me who drank your tea. <laughs> I wonder who drank my tea after all. Kitty drove to the parking lot next to the stadium. Okay, I need to find a place to park. But all the spots are occupied. 
the same here. It seems like everyone's decided to come beforehand, even earlier. What do I do? Oh, hooray! There's a free space ahead! Oh no! Giraffe occupied it! It's clear he noticed that space first. Look at his long neck! We can't help it. Oh! Another space! Hurry up! Great! I'm the first one! Sorry, Hippo. This is my space. So? Carefully? Bit by bit? I don't want to scratch the other cars. Kitty got happy too early. All the good spaces were already gone. And this one is too narrow and small. No! Oh, I can't do it! Kitty tried this way. And that, but he couldn't make it. What do I do? How do I park? It's time to go to the concert, but I got stuck in the parking lot. I've got it. And what if I do this? Kitty parked astride the road and got out to see the results. No, I can't leave the car this way. It blocks the road, and no one can drive through. What do I do? It would really be nice if my car could decrease its size. I've got it. I'll go to Max's Magic Garage. He'll upgrade my car. And here's the Magic Garage. Kitty honked. Beep, beep. The gates opened right away, and the car drove in. Hi, Max! I'm in a hurry! My favorite band Kukutiki will perform soon, and I couldn't park the car in the only free space at the parking lot! And Kitty told Max about how he decided to go out earlier to get there in time, how he drove through the parking lot for a long time in search of a free space, how the giraffe beat him, and how Kitty tried to squeeze his little red car in the only free space that was left. But he wasn't able to. Imagine that! Even my little car couldn't fit in there! I tried this way, and that, nothing! It would be great if my car could decrease in size and become shorter! Max paused to think, and then he said, Kitty, your car isn't made of rubber. You can't just increase or decrease its size, you see? Kitty heaved a sigh and sadly nodded. I see, but what do I do? Take it easy, pussycat. I got it. We'll make it so that your car's wheels can turn in all directions. And then you can park in even the narrowest space. Super cool! But will I catch the concert? Of course you will! This won't take long! We'll download the special software. That's it! Done! Now we'll lift the car up using the elevator so that we can remove the wheels. Great! Now we'll take the wheels out of our way. One. Two. Three, four, and the shock absorbers as well. One, two, three, four. Done. Before, only your front wheels can turn. Like this. To the right and the left, but not too much. And the back ones always stayed still. With the new gear units, all four wheels will be able to turn, both the front and back ones. No way! Awesome! Hurry up and get those gears on! So, selecting, tapping on them, and putting the gear units in the car. 
One, two, three, four. Done. Now we'll bring the wheels back. One, two, three, four. Done. Max, that's all well and good, but how am I going to turn the wheels in all directions? With the steering wheel? No, kitty, not with that. I'll put a special control panel on the dashboard of your car. Look, we select the button we need in the software. So, and we get the wheel control panel. Done. Wow, I can't believe it. Thanks, Max. I should go. And here's that parking lot. It was just as crowded as before. Kitty found the parking space that he couldn't drive into earlier. Here's that free spot. Nobody could get in there. But now I'm going to show you how my car can park. And Kitty pushed the right button. The wheels turned simultaneously. Kitty carefully pushed the gas pedal, and the car drove into the free space between the other cars. Hooray! I did it! Okay, now I'm going to the Kukutiki concert. Bye! Meow Meow presents... One day, Kitty stayed home and recalled his adventures. How he helped Piggy drive up the high hill. How he and Raccoon raced each other. And how he helped Blue Tractor plant potatoes. Where shall I go today? Kitty thought. Staying home is so boring. I've got it. Kitty's been wanting to go up that high mountain and find out what's up there. It's so cool to drive and listen to your favorite songs. So, let's put on some music. Baby Shark do 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 Baby Shark do 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 Baby Shark do 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 I'm the baby Where's that song? Under the water, a submarine Is dragging a seashell like in a dream Nope, that's wrong. Inside the Nope, wrong again. Here it is, my favorite song about traffic lights. Traffic lights are special tools to show drivers all the rules. They use lights to indicate the things to do. Just you wait. That's a light that you should know. If you see it go real slow, yellow light, be patient now. Green light hit the gas and wow. Here's a traffic light. Red light, you have to stop. Kitty thought and pressed the brake pedal. Good job, ducklings. They're crossing the road in the right place. Green light, we can go. And Kitty kept driving. A green light here gives right of way to tractor and cabriolet. Still these two friends on the run know that yellow means they're done. Red's a light that you should know if you see it go real slow. Yellow light be patient now. It's getting colder and snowing green deep in the mountains. Whoa, it's summer down below, but real snow in the mountains. Before Kitty could realize it, Strange things started to happen with his car. The wheels started to slip. The car stopped and slipped back. Kitty grabbed the steering wheel with both paws and pressed the brake, but the car kept slipping down. Finally, the car got to clean asphalt and stopped. Oh boy. It was lucky that there was nobody behind Kitty. Kitty stepped out of the car carefully and decided to check what had happened with the road. 
Why is it so slippery? It was cold outside, and the whole road was covered with ice at those places where it was snowing. Katie got to the ice-covered road and... Ah! Ah! Whoa! Kitty was barely on his feet and carefully came back to the car. What can I do? How can I drive onto the slippery mountain? I've got it. I need to get to the garage so that Max could upgrade my car. Kitty got to the garage and told Max everything that had happened to him. How he drove and sang his favorite song, how the snow started, the wheels started to skid, and the car slipped back. Don't worry, pussycat, Max said. I know what to do. We're gonna upgrade your car. We lift the car up with the elevator. We remove the old summer tires for driving on asphalt and get studded winter tires for driving on ice. Look, Pussycat, studded tires have very sharp studs. They pierce the ice, the wheels don't slip, and the car can move forward. Cool, Kitty said. I can't wait to get back to that mountain. Bye, Kitty. Don't go over the speed limit. Here it is, the mountain. We'll see what's gonna happen now. Kitty gets to the ice-covered road and keeps driving up just as if nothing had happened. Oh, look, it's Piggy. He can't get to the mountain. I need to help him. With studded winter tires, Kitty easily drove up the ice mountain and helped Piggy do it too. That's so cool, 